Hello and welcome to Retro Cars Reborn. I'm Lee and there, there maybe, there, somewhere behind me is a wing for a Mark II Escort. So yeah, let's, um, let's have a look how that went. Remember to subscribe. So this wing, I've come to the conclusion that, as you can see from that, there's practically nothing holding it on at all. Um, it's just some random, random bit of welding there, random bit of welding here, random bit of welding there, that seems to be holding the top rail on. Uh, it's completely rotten round there now, round the bowl. And it seems to be leaving what's left of the inner panel behind. I managed to kink it here underneath from pulling it. But uh, I literally think, as yeah, you can hear that. how much crud and rust there is in it. seem to be a strong bond here somewhere. And it's top corner still. Got some part left in it. There you everything there at the same time. Like the smell of the rotten metal and dirt that's trapped in here. Yeah, this bottom corner is held on solid. Slice straight through it. If these old knackered cutters cut through it, then we're in some serious trouble. It's not looking good, is it? Because they wouldn't cut through new metal in a million years. As you heard, there's not many fucking spot welds holding that on, is there? 
seems to be a big one now it's got down to there. There's got to be some salvageable parts on this left. So with the, the floor tidied up, let's have a look at what's going off here. So this panel has clearly been welded over and over and over and over again. The A pillar is gone at the top and at the bottom. Moving into the inner A pillar as well and as you can see it's got some slight movement in it the uh, I dare say if that's a, a welded in piece there as well the uh, wing rail is next to non-existent let's move this torch out of the way there we go the uh, yeah, wing rail is next to non-existent you can see it's been had an added piece there just there look, an added piece and you know there's a giant hole there where there's where there is no wing rail it just goes along and gets worse and worse and worse see that piece there right there look you see the shape that it's got to it it, it folds underneath that's because I'm guessing they've put a piece of metal in on the top to make it look flat just like it is and then they've bent it up to try and match where the wing rail was but not all the way down they've not actually met where it should be look see how it drops and gets higher so that's I'm gonna say original wing rail what's left of it there and then what they decided to try and make out of whatever bits afterwards. Very nice. Now, uh, in here, it gets a little bit, a little bit suspect because there's a there's a chunk of metal there. Look, what this bit of wing grab is supposed to be here, and this chunk of metal runs all the way down all the way in it's like a really hefty piece of metal now I'm hoping that they haven't cut that bit out I mean but look there it just disappears it's like there's nothing there look the screwdriver goes into a void that they filled with Seam sealer. A piece of seam sealer that thick. And that's what's up there. Practically nothing. There's just nothing in there, look. It's just a hole 
just an entire void. Hard to get the light to show you how big the void is. There we go. So, I'll just do some digging around the top of this top mount and we'll see what actually comes back from here. So there's the sill end going down to the floor. I can't imagine what's left in here. Probably <clears throat> not a lot. That's just a little poking with a screwdriver. Here we go then, let's see what we found. I mean, what is that? There's just nothing left of this top. And also, why is it green behind it? I don't know what has been welded into there. You can see all the weld marks there, look. I don't know if it's been welded from this side or the other side. But why is it green? So it doesn't get any better look. It's like one big piece of metal there, join. Uh, holes, holes and holes with another section there joined. Uh, another section there, another load of holes and pieces overlapped more overlapped pieces another overlapped piece and joined to make it somewhat sturdy I suppose and another piece in there just joined uh, again there's this ginormous piece of metal here look you can see how thick it is there and it's bolted in I don't know if that's original it kind of looks like someone bolted in a uh, right angled piece of steel just so they could keep the front end somewhat I don't know level but yeah it just doesn't get any better it just gets worse and worse it's rust on rust on rust and more rust you can see the chunks of silicon were that big I don't know you see there's that green there right and then there's green there as well maybe it's had the front end of another car put on it maybe I'm uncertain at this point but even the headlamp bowl it's a double headlamp bowl where they cut off of it out and then welded in another piece but we'll, we'll keep this in a piece here look so we know where to put it back, but then it's out. It wouldn't have been level. And there's just more weld, repair. I'll never understand what that was. At least the chassis rail on this side is looking somewhat better than the other side. But looking at it from here, at the minute, it's looking like it might want an entire in a wing which you can buy but I'd also have to buy new front wings new front panel uh, so we can get it all lined up so we shall see so with the depressing look at the Escort over I think the best option is for me to screw that wing back on put the wheels back on it get it back on the ground get it covered over and forget I own it for a bit and uh, concentrate on getting the Capri finished before I have anything to do with the Escort because it's going to need 
going to need the rollover jig, it's going to need an uh, actual jig that you can buy from uh, Motorsport Tools that you can sit the chassis on so I know exactly that it's perfect and straight and I think I'll concentrate more on the Capri and I've uh, also been doing uh, a lot of work to the Peugeot in my spare time as well so till next time thanks for watching don't subscribe and I shall see you in the next video.